Hello, hello. Welcome back to She's a Busy Girl. I'm Stephanie and you guys, it has been a minute or two since I did a video. Um, and I'll tell you, it's just, things have kind of exploded um, at work and at home. And um, so I've just been really, I've been a very busy girl. Um, but I sat down um, a couple of nights ago and I started messing around with some stuff that I wanted to show you. Let's move this out of the way for just a minute. So the first thing that I started messing around with um, is this little, um, it's just a, a cardstock cover journal. Um, and I like these wraparound closures more than I like putting ties on both ends. I, I tried that in the next one, but I like this one better. But anyway, I put this one together just kind of on a whim and I did it because um, Victoria Designs on YouTube and Etsy uh, recently made a um, announcement that those of us who purchased their kits could use them to make items in small quantities that we may determine to sell. Uh, and I had never purchased from them before because you know how it is. You buy a bunch of stuff, you cut a bunch of stuff out, and at some point you forget where it came from. And I didn't want to inadvertently break any rules. So I had just never purchased from them before to make sure I didn't break any rules. Um, but since they made that announcement, I did go to their shop and I did purchase a couple of things. And I decided to make this journal with it um, and so yeah just a cardstock cover um, here is just um, a vintage book page um, that I put on some canvas on the front and then this little doohickey is from one of the Victoria Designs kits and a little clippy doohickey there uh, put one of the kit pockets here in the corner and then this is a vintage postcard that the fabulous patty lang put together love that one here is a pocket from the kit um a journaling card from the kit and um i actually got this from a zoltar machine um i can't remember where it was but it was my fortune from the zoltar machine so i just thought it was fun i stuck it in there uh, some pattern paper, uh, another little piece of stuff that I have no idea where it came from. See, that's what happens. Uh, and here is a page from the kit that I printed front and back and one of the little circle doohickeys. I did put one of my junk mail decorated envelopes in here and one of the tags that I made. And I left it open as a pocket on the side and stuck that little guy in there and I don't remember where that came from either but I think it was on a package from Etsy uh, and so yeah I just kind of put this one together with the digitals from the kit and there's some tracing paper and some vintage book page and a teeny tag um, so yeah I just sat down I was like gosh I, I want to just make something just to make it uh, and that's what I did. So a lot of book page in here, coffee dyed paper, the Victoria Designs Digitals. Um, there's some book page. So yeah, this one was just kind of fun to put together and it was just me sort of pulling stuff out of everywhere and sticking it in my book. So yeah, I like it. And then I just did the wrap around closure because I do, I like these better. I don't know why, I just like them better. But that being said, I did make this little guy last night um, and I wanted to use fabric. And so I pulled out some of this flannel that I had uh, and just put it together with some cardstock, some patterned cardstock. And then this is another one of those vintage postcards made by Patty Lang. And I stuck that on the front with a coffee dyed muslin um, ribbon so you can kind of tie it closed. And this one I haven't done anything with. Um, and I just wanted to try to use a bunch of different pages. So I've got some coffee dyed and there's a little bag. And there's a book page and a little ledger page and some patterned paper. And um, we all know who this is and I can never remember her name. What the heck? Okay. Um, so yeah, I just, here's a kid's book. 
Um, here is a horticulture magazine. Here's a page from a um, almanac from the 1970s. Uh, yeah, so here's some uh, spelling lessons and I think that's like a dictionary type thing and some more ledger paper and some hymnal and bird book and what else did I stick in here? I, I just kind of put everything in here. Um, and this one's kind of big. It's like over 100 pages. It kind of surprised me when I counted it up. Oh, I love that cardinal. Um, so it turned out pretty good, actually. I was, I was pretty happy with it. And that made me think I want to try um, kind of a wrap sort of version of this. And, and I don't mean like two chains type wrap. I mean like wrap around. So let's give that a shot. I've got this lovely fabric that I bought from Miss Michelle Scott on one of her live sales recently. Um, so this is a bundle that she put together with all different, um, I think they're all upholstery fabrics and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're my color scheme. Um, and then I got this big old piece of parchment paper. And I think this guy is 14 inches long. So eight and a half by 14 inches. And I'm thinking you can probably do this with uh, with uh, 12 by 12 paper too. You know, just cut it down. Um, but I thought we would make one that was kind of, or we'll at least start trying to make one, um, that was kind of a traveler's notebook size. So a thought, a thought, a thought. Let's get the scoreboard up here. So it needs to be, what, like four and a half inches wide, right? So let's score there. And then we want kind of a bendy spine. So let's do this. Let's just go to five. We'll just score down at eighth of an inch increments until we get to five. Uh, and then we want another four and a half. So one, two, three, four and a half. So no, that's, here we go. All right, so four and a half, that leaves us at nine and a half. And so let's go from nine and a half to 10. We'll just score every eighth of an inch to 10 inches. All right, so if it was a 12 inch piece of paper, we'd have a little flap, right? But because it's a 14 inch piece of paper, we have a bigger flap. So, so basically all we did um, is create bendies. So that's that's basically all we did. We just created places where it's it's going to kind of wrap around instead of like folding it right straight in half. We just have a rounded a rounded area now instead of a big huge area. So and well, maybe 14 inches is a little much. What do you think? Um Do I have it backwards? I don't know. I am, yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so this is our shorter part. So it's four inches, and these are four and a half inches, and then we've got two half inch spines. I think this is too much. Let's, let's cut it down. Let's, um, what do we think? Like right here? Yeah, I think we need to cut an inch off. I think we do. I think I'm gonna like the way that looks better. So let's just, Bring a paper trimmer in here and slice off an inch of that right there and see how I like it now. Yes, I like it better now. Okay, I do. And it's a little harsh. I think we need to round the edges. Where is my rounder whoop de doo Um, stand by. I know it's like right here. All right, I got it. Okay, so I'm going to round these corners. Okay, and these corners, because these are the only corners there are. Yeah, it's been um, it's been a heck of a week and a half. Let me tell you. All right, so I like the way that looks now. Good. Okay, so let's figure out what fabric we want to use. I kind of really like this one. I kind of do. It's an upholstery fabric and it's a little bit thicker, but it's really kind of soft. Like this is a couch you would sleep on. 
I like it. Let's use this one. Okay. So here's my plan. And I'm just kind of seeing seat of my seat of my pantsing it. Is that even a real term? We're gonna seat up our pants it. Um, we're gonna we're gonna glue this down, just sort of in the middle, and then cut it out. And then I'm gonna take it over the sewing machine and do a straight stitch around the edge. And then we're gonna see what that looks like. So let's get hopping here. Got some fabric tack. And we're going to do it kind of light because I don't really want the Fabri-Tac to go through. Um, and I'm not worried about getting all the way to the edges because, of course, we're going to stitch. I do want it to be on the spine, though. So, yeah, we're just going to put Fabri-Tac on this until I think it's good. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Turn the sucker over and lay it down. How do you like that planning? <laughs> Speaking of planning, okay. So, um, I am going out of town on Saturday. Um, I'm going to be in Wyoming, um, but you can be really far away from your house and still be in Wyoming. This state's crazy. Uh, so I'll be about five and a half hours away from my house and still in Wyoming. But I'm going to, um, of course, bring um, stuff to film um, while I'm there because uh, I looked up the little town that we are going, well, actually, we're going to a few little towns. Um, and I looked up the town and there's like all sorts of flea markets and stuff like that. So want to do some shopping and I'm currently putting together my go bag for crafting. Um, so yeah, we're going to, we're still going to do some stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'll be relaxed and not have to worry about, um, going to work and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, I think it'll be good. And that's, that's my plan. But I will be um, away from home from Saturday of this week um, to Friday, next Friday. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I just, I get a little wiggy about traveling because I have animals. And although I have to tell you a funny story about the animals. Um, my husband knows that I am like crazy about my dogs and my goats and, and all of that. So he actually booked the dogs at a um, luxury pet resort and spa in here in Cheyenne so that um, they would live better than I do for the week that I'm gone um, and that I would feel better and I would go and have a good time with them. <laughs> Hey, he loves me. I'm okay with it. <laughs> All right. I am going to take this to the sewing machine. We're going to straight stitch around the edges and I'll be right back. And voila, it is sewn. So, you know, you guys, I have a really tough time sewing in a straight line. So I am getting a lot of practice in and I'm fairly proud of me. Look at that. It's almost kind of straight, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So we've already determined that uh, regardless of whether or not I try, I cannot wind up living with all of those strings. And so now it kind of looks like that with the stitching around the edge. And we've got too much, too much fabric. All right, so we're gonna cut this down. And I'm not cutting it right up to the paper because I'm hoping that we might get some little fringe action out of this. Good Lord. I'm hoping that we might. Just a little bit, not, not like completely unraveling. Um, but just, just a little fringe action where like it kind of sort of unravels a little bit and gives you that sort of, um, I'm, I've been around a long time look. Okay, maybe I should just cut this straight and then try to focus on, oh, look, hey, we're already getting raveling. <gasps> That's a good sign. All right. Keep going, Stephanie. Focus, focus, focus. Okay. It's hard for me to cut in a straight line too, just in case you didn't know. All right. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep going here. 
I'm trying to keep it sort of neat. I am not getting all wiggy. Being a little bit crazy for me though, I gotta tell you. Okay, there we go. And I'm not gonna try to unravel this. I just wanna see what it does on its own, just for fun. But I think the more that it's like handled and kind of tossed around and used, the more it will um, kind of start coming apart and looking more like I want it to. Well, that was not a fantastic rounded corner, seven, eight. All right, let's see. That was better. Okay. I am who I am. Ouch. Oh my gosh, did you see that? I almost cut my finger off. Okay. <laughs> dramatic much I think it's all of the so it was I, yeah I could have sworn that it was 99 degrees here today turns out it was only 76 um, but I was dying hot and so I kind of overdid it on the um, frappuccinos the mocha frappuccinos um, because out of habit I just say an espresso shot no whip um, and I did that a couple times so you're now you're stuck with it. I, I don't know what to tell you. That's just how it is. Okay. So we've got this and it's already unraveling and looking super cute. Oh, I kind of, I really like it actually. Oh my gosh. Okay. So next question. Should we pop a hole in there and like do the elastic band or should we do something neat that we can wrap around? Because... We know I like to wrap stuff around more than I like the bands. So let's look at some of the other fabrics in this pack. So I'm wondering if this green one, which I love, but I kind of love this one too. Uh, uh, uh. See, that's, that's the only bad part about videos is um you guys can't tell me what you think okay no, at least not like right now while we're doing this while i'm doing this i mean you can tell me when never mind i'm not going down that rabbit hole okay so let's see if we cut a strip of this and attached it right there it would wrap around not enough times nope it's not long enough okay if we cut a strip of this, maybe this is long enough, and attached it right there, would it wrap around enough times? Oh, I think it would. I think it most definitely would. Okay, let's cut a strip of this. And let's see what we can make happen. All right, so I'm thinking like in three quarters to an inch. Does that sound good? I mean, wide is what I'm aiming at. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see where are we at. I don't even know if I've been in frame cutting this. I should probably pay better attention to that, huh? And I don't know that I want it to be absolutely perfect. All right. And we're just going to cut it all the way down to the selvage, because even if it's too long, we can put it on a page or something on the inside. All right, so let's now try to figure out how we want to attach it. Do, 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 do. All right, so we know we want it to be about right there, and I like this fringy little end, don't you? I don't want that to go anywhere. I want to keep that fringy little end there. Um, so how are we going to attach it? Well, for crying out loud, how are we going to do it? We could use some Fabri-Tac and maybe we need a button. Maybe we need a vintage button, which, ah, here's a pot of vintage buttons right here. Let's see if we have a vintage button that we like for this. And then we can, I've got this upside down, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay. It's supposed to go this way, stuff. All right. But I still like the fringy thing. I want to keep that. All right. So let's, let's look for a button. 
Look at that grubby thing. I kind of like it. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. And maybe I should sew the button on, do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We could do a shank style button. See? There's that one. But this is gray. It doesn't really doesn't really look right, does it? No, it totally doesn't. Okay. Um, there's a black one. That's too big. I don't like it. And there's a, ooh, I kind of like the gold one. Okay. Who thinks we should go with the gold one? I do. Okay, we're going to go with the gold one. So, um, the, because this is a shank style button, I think, um, to save heartache and, um, crying and screaming and this not working out, I am in fact going to sew this right on here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, that's what I did. I sewed that right on there. Um, yeah, I just used some embroidery floss and just sewed it right on there. Okay, so now we have the <laughs> you know, we wanted it to be all fringy and frayed, and, um, wow, we succeeded. Okay, so I want it to wrap around kind of like, how do I want it to wrap around? Do I want it to cover the button? Does it matter? I don't know. All right. And go kind of like that. So I think this is, in fact, a little long. So we'll just cut right there. And now we got a little scrap to use. Okay. So, hey, we got a good start on this thing. And darn, maybe I should have zigzagged it. You think it's going to, like, completely fall apart? <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Um, yeah, we got a good start. There we go. We've, we've got it. We've got our wrap around here. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to completely fall apart. If so. If it really starts to unravel, I'll probably have to put some free check on that son of a gun. I don't know. Probably should have zigzagged down this. But I, didn't, I don't want that look. I want it to be kind of messy and frayed. Which <laughs> is what it is. Good gracious. Alright, so that's going to do it for tonight. Um, and I think tomorrow we will come back and put some pages together for this thing. And I think we're going to do like a regular traveler's notebook size, what, like eight and a quarter by four and a quarter, um, and see what we can put together. So, because I've, I've dug out all of this stuff and, um, I need to start using it because I have been shopping kind of like a crazy person, um, and I've got all of this stuff and I've got more on the way. And so we got to start using it up. So <laughs> anyhow, that's where we're at for tonight. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Uh, and I will catch you tomorrow. Good night.